You'll have heard the First Minister's announcement about the route map out of the crisis in Scotland. And as part of that, you've probably heard some mention about what might happen in education. Just wanted to give you a quick update and we'll continue to give you updates as we progress over the next few weeks. That We've been working really hard in a range of different groups with our unions, taking views from parents, taking views from children and young people, taking views from our head teachers to try to think about what is the best way in Fife for us to make sure we have a delivery model, a blended model, where children after the summer holidays will be able to come back to school, um, do some learning and also do some learning at home. So be rest assured that we're working really hard on this. It's not easy. None of us have ever been here before. We've never done anything like this. And we're using the evidence and the advice from across the world, really, but particularly in Denmark and Norway to look at the way that they managed um, to get schools back together. So we've got some key messages that we'd like to, sh to share with your children to try and build that confidence for coming back. So the first message is about learning at school will continue at home. So children will be learning both in school and at home. And the second message is about staying apart. When children do come back to school, they will need to stay apart. They'll need to practice that two metre distancing. And I'm finding that some children don't know how far two metres is, so it's maybe something you can work on with your children and young people. The youngest children will be able to be in small groups and they won't be expected to stay two metres apart. And we'll give you more information about that as time goes on. We're awaiting further guidance from the government this week, which will help with our planning. And our third message, is about making sure that children continue to wash their hands. We know that that's an easy thing to say, um, but it needs a lot of reminding. So we know that the virus doesn't manage to stay on people's hands if they're using an antibacterial wash. So we will be encouraging all of our children and young people to be washing their hands regularly. They should wash their hands before they leave home and then when they come into school. So there'll be lots more information about that um, over the next wee while. So we're really keen to see our children and young people back in school um, we're hoping that the scientific and public health advice will allow us to bring some staff back in over the course of June and perhaps to allow some small groups to come in to do some transition work. Again we'll give you more information when we have that. At the moment we don't have the approval from the Scottish Government to do that but we're looking to see um, when that happens to be ready for that. We're also trying to make sure that for the August the 11th, which is the return date, that we'll be giving a delivery model out to schools to let you all see how that will work. So we're working really hard. We want to see our children and young people back in school. And we hope that you'll work with us to make sure that that happens in as safe a way as absolutely possible. Stay safe.